Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen Elsette Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and smack the notification bell next to it so you'll know when I'm doing new videos. Also, if you have time, please drop us a positive comment in the comment section and stick around to the end of the video because I have some cool positive comments to read to you. Maybe one of them was yours. Likewise, if you would like to get in touch with me, all of my information is underneath every video I do. If you want to get a reading done, please email me. If you would like to send me a gift through Amazon, my wish list is under here. My PayPal is under here if you would like to give me a donation. If you want to get some merchandise, some Ask an Aquarius specific merchandise, those links are under here as well. All right, guys. So we're going to talk about unpopular opinions again but this time we're going to talk about unpopular Aquarius opinions these are opinions that people have said to me or I read online um, about Aquarius that are very unpopular especially amongst Aquarius a lot of these but a lot of people believe this so I wanted to talk about them number one the annoying part of Aquarius people is that they can't control their emotions all the time. And most Aquarius people are actually really sensitive. Well, I'm going to tell you, Aquarius are masters at controlling our emotions. Um, we learn it over time. We learn how to hide them. We learn how to compartmentalize them. But we can't always do it. If something really gets under our skin, that's when you will see an Aquarius snap. Aquarius will snap. <laughs> we will set it off. But we're not known for that. You know, most of the time we don't even like the drama that comes along with that. So the, it is true that there are times when we can't hold it back because we are sensitive. But I would say that Aquarius probably control their emotions better than anybody else in the zodiac um i think there are other signs who who attempt to but we actually are really great at it um it's just that we have a nerve and once you hit it that's it and for many of us that nerve is picking you know lead, like my mom always says leave aquarius alone when they're quiet you know and she always says that about me and my father and it's true just leave us alone we chilling <laughs> leave us be so um i agree with that 100 percent. and we are very sensitive and a lot of people don't know that we're sensitive because we are so good at hiding it so this person is half right and half wrong we most of the time can control it and yes we are very sensitive it just depends on what nerve you hit number two Aquarius respect boundaries and giving people their space. Um, I agree with this 100%. Aquarius do respect boundaries and we do give people their space because we want our boundaries respected and we want our space. But you have to tell an Aquarius because Aquarius don't always know when they're coming over your boundary. And I've come to find with a lot of people, a lot of times... A lot of people's boundary is not really very carefully defined. They don't let you know where their boundary is. And then they're like, ah, the Aquarius stepped over my boundary. Well, you didn't even say what a boundary was. <laughs> you got to tell Aquarius. Some people might notice it without you telling them because they're, you know, really considerate to that and they'll pick up on it. But Aquarius don't always. I've noticed that because our head is often in the clouds. We don't always notice the boundary. So if it's a boundary, let the Aquarius know in a nice way. Because if you snap on an Aquarius about your boundary, you might not ever see that Aquarius again. So just tell them in a nice way, like, yo, that's my boundary, you know, and, you know, <laughs> stay on the other side of it and we good, you know. Aquarius hold grudges forever. Whoa. See, this is twofold. On one hand, um, people have a tendency to think because we don't mess with them again. If you wrong an Aquarius and they put you out of their life and refuse to mess with you, talk to you, deal with you again. A lot of people assume it's because we're holding a grudge. And the truth is we're not holding a grudge. We put you out of our life because we found you to be dangerous, negative, de detrimental in some kind of way. Something ain't right. It could be you, it could be me, but our vibration is incompatible. So I put you out of my life because of that. 
I didn't put you out of my life because I'm angry with you and I'm holding a grudge against you. Some of you guys know that one of my ex friends stole money from me. This was like about, it was a long time ago now, maybe a year or two. And it wasn't a lot of money. It was like $40. Now she thinks that I'm still mad. That's why I don't talk to her. That's why I don't fool with her. That's why I don't bother with her. I never bother with her again. And she thinks it's because I'm holding a grudge, but it's not because of that. The truth is, is that I'm not messing with her because I know that if I forgive her, well, and I shouldn't say forgive her because I have forgiven her, but that's not what she wants. She doesn't want me to forgive her. She wants me to let her back into my life. And that's what I won't do. I'll forgive you. That's cool. Because forgiveness is letting go of the hurt, letting go of the bitterness. I'm cool with that. I think that's best for your health. But I'm not letting you back in my life to do the same shit or worse again. And that's the point that she doesn't understand. It's not about being mad at her or holding a grudge against her. It's just that I'm not going to let you have that opportunity again. You might do something worse the next time. So for an Aquarius, it's more of a, a logical thought process in that kind of way. Also, if something does hurt us deeply, like that didn't hurt me deeply enough, <laughs> but it's some things that have hurt me deeply. Like for instance, Voldemort, my relationship with Voldemort hurt me deeper than anything has ever hurt me before, before or after. That was the deepest hurt I've ever had. The deepest wound, <laughs> like, like it was like a, a, oh my, it was like a samurai sword split me in half. That was the deepest wound I ever had. And I had a problem with that grudge because I would let it go and then he would do something else and it would come back. <laughs> so that grudge was a problem and it did take me a very long time. It took me, I would say, until like the past couple of months to really be over the hurt, seriously. And that happened, that happened like 15 or 16 years ago. But because the wound was so deep, it took me a long time to heal it fully. So... That I wouldn't call a grudge. And I guess sometimes it was a grudge because sometimes I want to choke him. So I think those were the grudge times. So yeah, some of the times if it hurts deeply enough, it will be hard for us to heal it. It will be hard for us to let that go. But in a lot of cases, it's not a grudge. It's just logic. And we're just like, you got me once. You won't get me again. <laughs> you ain't getting up in here again. Uh, let's just see. My opinion is that we Aquarius sons tend to be popular, sometimes even unintentionally. I agree with her. We do tend to be popular. Sometimes it's unintentionally. Sometimes it's not even wanted. Sometimes the attention is just annoying. <laughs> like it is. Sometimes it's annoying. Sometimes the attention is just like, you know, we're just being ourselves, and everybody got all eyes on this. And it's just like, why don't y'all mind y'all business? Like, oh my God. So she's right. Sometimes it is un unintentional and sometimes it's unwanted. Um, I got, I, I know when I was younger, I got tired, not so much when I was really little, but as I got older, sometimes I got tired of being a center of attention. You know, I just want to be left alone to do me and every little thing I do, every little outfit I wear, every little thing I do, everybody's, oh my, look what she got, look what she doing. It's just like, well, y'all mind y'all business. Like, oh my God. So she's definitely right. Uh, this op unpopular opinion is right. <laughs> it's definitely right. And the last one says Aquarius are know-it-alls. <laughs> oh, God. Unpopular opinion. Um, some Aquarius are know-it-alls. I'll give it to you. And some of us are just really smart. I mean, like, it's hard for me with this one because... Sometimes people come to me and say things to me and I just be looking at them like, what? And you can tell they didn't read nothing. You can tell they don't know what they're talking about. And they come off like you're the know-it-all because you're looking at them like they're crazy. And the truth is not that I know it all. I have just researched this topic. So you're not going to come at me and tell me no okie doke about a, a topic that I researched, <laughs> you know? So a lot of people get angry with us and I'm like, you think you know everything. And in a lot of cases, it's not that I think I know everything. There's always more knowledge to get, but I just know a lot about what I'm talking about. And I can tell that you don't. <laughs> I can tell you've read nothing. I can tell you know nothing about the topic. 
And then when I say that or allude at it, they get mad at me. <laughs> Why are you mad at me? So this is a very unpopular opinion, but I have heard it a lot. <laughs> All right, guys. So please come back soon because I got a lot more to say. See you later.